How to use Zoho Calendar. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be covering Zoho Calendar, how to get started, how to sign up, and how to actually use it. So let's actually get to the video. So basically, if you don't know, Zoho Calendar is basically, uh, well, Zoho is a platform that offers multiple products. One of them is Zoho Calendar. And in Zoho Calendar, it's pretty much a uh, shared calendar that you can actually work on with your team members or your colleagues and you can do many different things set up appointments uh schedule things and all of those things that you would want to do with calendars you can actually do them and also share them with your colleagues and team members as you can see your online calendar for your business to keep teams organized so you can actually just see all about it here managing events easier than ever uh share calendars with your team members and you can do a lot more stuff so to get started, and also they have the apps for it as well. You can get to the frequently asked uh, questions if you want, but I'm not going to go through that. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So to get started, we will basically go to zoho.com slash calendar. And if I forgot to mention, it is absolutely for free. So you don't actually need to pay for it. It's completely for free, which is great. So now we need to go ahead and sign up. So go to zoho.com slash calendar, and you can just go ahead and sign up uh, right now. So we, I'm just going to go ahead and sign in using Google. It's just going to make things easier for us. Or you can just fill in some of the information above that we're existing, as you can see, as you can see uh, and sign up from there. So now we, are need, we need to fill in some more stuff here. Uh, so here you will need to set up your name and all of those things and click on create account. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and create my account. I'm not going to bore you with, you know, cre account creation. It's very simple. Uh, and I will meet you in the dashboard. So once you sign up, you should find yourself in this homepage. Now, the homepage is very simple to use and easy for uh, the users. So basically, you will have the list of the calendars available that you have created or will create. And you can create it from here. So you have the list of calendars and here, obviously in the middle, you have the actual calendar itself with multiple different views that you can actually toggle between. Uh, you can do all of this from here. For example, if you want to toggle it but between day or week uh, and so much more, you can do so. And you can also click on here and we can change the layout as well. Uh, also, the events that are going to be showing up, we can toggle a specific calendar events to be on and off, uh, depending on exactly what we want it to be. So let me just keep this on. Obviously, if we have any events for this calendar, it's going to show up in the middle here. Here at the bottom, we have the minimized uh, section for the actual calendar. And then if you see at the bottom left, we have two different things here, which are very, very, very important. If you want to share with your team members and stuff, we have the chat. So basically, we can actually have some conversations with people, whether it's going to be private or group chats. Uh, you can have them all in here. And here on the right side, we have the contacts list that we have in this specific calendar. And then we have more stuff on the right side as well, like some updates. Uh, you can turn on night mode, which I will do. And you can also send feedback if you want. On the top right, we have a search bar, which is just going to search for pretty much anything. If it's an event, if it's a specific date, some type of data that you want to search for, you can feel free to search here and you can actually see uh, the results once you actually go ahead and search for it. If you want to set up more stuff about your account, you will need to go to the profile picture here and you can go to my account and set things up. Uh, your availability, you can set it up from here uh, and more stuff as well. If you want to use it on your mobile phone, you can scan this uh, right away. Uh, also, if you want to use other apps by Zoho, you can just click on uh, not the settings. We will click on this icon here and you can see all the rest of the apps. So this way you can seamlessly just switch between them without going to, you know, the actual Zoho uh, main site and then changing it from there. You can just go through here. We have the main settings as well. So you can actually go ahead and set up um, some of these settings. Mostly is going to be cosmetic stuff and uh, keyboard shortcuts. So feel free to go through all of those. And now we have a list of calendars. If you want to set up anything for a specific calendar, you can just click on the three dots 
and click on edit. And we can actually just go ahead and edit this specific uh, calendar. We have the description for it. We have the color icon for it uh, and more stuff here as well. So we can add uh, an individual or groups from here as well from the settings. So we can just add an individual, for example, add them by email, click on share, and you should be good to go. Same goes for group, add uh, a group name, and then you will want to invite the individuals to that group. This way you can have a group chat. Uh, and also it allows you uh, Zoho Calendar to have meetings uh, on the same platform, which is great. Uh, and everything is going to be in one platform. And you can also record the meetings and share them with your group later on. Here you have more options for calendar settings uh, like the time zone, calendar view, event settings, notifications, imports and exports. You have multiple options uh, on what, what you want to actually import. Uh, group calendars, app calendars, more stuff in here. So we can actually go ahead and get started either by working on the existing calendar that we have or we can just go ahead and feel free to create a new calendar. Uh, you click on the plus icon and you can just go ahead and click on add a calendar. Also, you can subscribe to a existing calendar if that's what you need to do. I'm just going to create a new one. So I'm just going to click here and click on add calendar. And here we'd want to give it a name. So a uh, test calendar and you would want to give it a color. So I'm just going to choose the red one. Uh, and if you want to include uh, your busy or free uh, status sharing, you can just include that as well. I prefer to keep it on this way, you know, people can actually see your status. Uh, and if you want to add the description, you can also do so as well. Click on save and you can again add individuals or groups and you can have more stuff in here to set up. There's actually plenty of stuff, stuff to set up. So once we have our calendar here, we can actually go ahead and create events uh, by clicking on any date and time. And we can actually go ahead and create an event. For example, we can just go ahead and name it a test event. We want to choose the calendar that we want to set it up to. So we here, obviously, we would want to pick the proper color for it, which is going to be, uh, I, I guess this one is the closest. Here you would want to set up the time for it, so you can just set up the time here. Here you would want to invite the individuals who are going to be attending the event. So here is going to be there is going to be a physical location. If it is, then you would want to provide the actual address. If it's a conference, you would want to also add the Zoho meeting. So you would need to obviously set it up first. Um, Next, we can just go ahead and set up the actual calendar that we want to work on. So this is going to be for the test calendar. And we gave it pretty much the same color almost. Click on save. And also there were more options. If you want to go through them, you can just click on edit and you have more stuff here as well. If you want to add a URL, reminders and so much more, you can add them here as well. Click on save and it's just going to be available here for you. If we click on day, you can actually see a more compact view for your uh, day that you want to work on. And you can see that we have this view here. If we click on the three dots on the top right, we can actually change it from compact, classic or super compact. So it, com it is completely up to you and how you want um, to view your calendar. I'm just going to keep it as super compact. This way I can see a lot more stuff uh, at a time. Also, it does keep tabs. So if you have multiple tabs, it's just going to make things easier for you. And as you, as I told you before, if we hide this, it's just going to be hidden from here. But anything for this calendar is going to show up. So for example, if you're too busy, if you have too many calendars and you just want to view a specific one, you can just toggle them off the rest of them. Also, if you want to add people in an easier way, you can just click on three dots, click on share. Uh, and you can just go ahead and invite individuals to that specific um, calendar. And again, you can just go ahead and uh, now chat with them. You will have a list of contacts if you want to have a private chat or whatever it may be. And you can actually go ahead and feel free to text them, chat to them, uh, add attachments and all of those things that you would have with a chat uh, program. 
and this is just the basics on how to use Zoho Calendar. So I hope this video was useful to you. You found this to be helpful. And thanks for watching.